everybody, uh, welcome to the second video in a series of two. Um, <clears throat> today we're going to be looking at the uh, creating images in the style of um, Hung Zhu, which is the artist that's uh, on your screen right now, showing some examples of. This is specifically aimed at the, um, the Year 9s. Uh, whose project during the COVID-19 closure is to look at abstract forms, but also very uh, well plays into the uh, the kind of uh, imagery that you may be wanting for the discarded items topic at year 10 uh, with our current project that's there. Uh, just like with the uh, the Vilda Rolfsson work, um, we're going to be using a very basic setup here. So um, we've really simply... Uh, we've got some carrier bags. I've taken carrier bags from the previous uh, video and I've torn them up a bit. So uh, we've made lots of different strips. I've used three different ones from there. We're going to be using your phone camera for this. The reason why I'm demonstrating with a phone camera is because not all of you will have what we call a proper camera. Um, and that's absolutely fine. And we're going to be using a desk lamp as our light source. Um, so basic point is, is that all of this is completely um, accessible and achievable um, in your own home with very basic materials, very basic um, kind of uh, setup. Uh, as you can see from the um, the artist images from the top of the video, um, the black background or the darkness around the outside is really important to the success here. So I'm just using a piece of black material. I'm just going to um, lay it across my workspace. If you um, you can use anything that's black at home, so maybe there's black bed sheets. Um, maybe there's examples of maybe you've got some black paper or black card you can lay down underneath. Those are absolutely fine too. Um, so the the artist Hung Zhu um, for this work actually um, photographs scraps of carry bag that have come out of landfill sites in China. Uh, we're not, <laughs> you know, I'm not asking you at all to go diving through a landfill site. In fact, you've got to stay indoors because that's what we've been advised to do at this point in time. Um, however, there's no reason why we can't recreate it using scraps of bag that are just ripped up. Try and use old ones, don't use brand new ones um, because of obviously... That's a waste, even though we are using it for this purpose here. Um, and as you'll see in some of the artist imagery that you should have looked at already, there's um, sometimes there's singular colour, sometimes there's combination of colour, and that's absolutely fine. But we're going to try and uh, create some imagery here. So I'm just going to kind of twist some of these together, kind of create different shapes and contortions, and then I'm going to start photographing them um, using my phone camera. So really very basic. We've got our lighting there as well. And then we're just going to capture those forms. So just like before, we're trying to make sure that we don't have a sense of scale, which is like we discussed in the previous video where um, kind of using um, letter carrier bags that have lettering on maybe is less successful because that lettering actually enables us to think, well, aha, okay, actually, well, I know what how big that's going to be. So I, I gain a sense of scale uh, from that. We're aiming to be trying to be as abstract, surreal as we can. So in order to achieve that, it's really important that we are losing that sense of scale, not including, not including things that enable us to be able to, to judge. So just like before, I'm already accumulating quite a number of images which I can use. Um, and what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to start twisting in multiple colours um, to these. So you may want to, you know, how, how extreme you go with this is completely up to you. Maybe you want to try and create things that look like shapes and forms that kind of make sense, but that's absolutely fine. So I'm just going to kind of twist those in there just like that. Um, and then maybe flatten it down a bit and then go back to creating imagery using what we've got. So it's really very simple, very basic. I've not used anything that's special to create um, these images. It's just a desk lamp, some carrier bags, my phone camera, and a bit of black background um, to kind of uh, to kind of create that effect that Hung Zhu creates in his work. Try experimenting maybe just with two colours rather than the three. Um, or kind of however many colours you got. I don't know what bags you may have at home. Uh, you can kind of work with that. Okay, so what to do next? Once you've got 30 to 60 images that respond to Hong Zhu's work, I want you to, if you've got Photoshop yourself, start making contact sheets if you feel confident doing that. If you don't feel confident doing that, send me your photos in a OneDrive folder and I will make your contact sheets for you. Um, and then I'll send them back to you for use. When communicating with me, please make sure you use your school email address emailing my school email address, otherwise I can't reply to you.
If you do have questions, please don't be afraid to ask them um, and I'll, I'll answer them along the way. But it's something that's accessible, everyone can do this um, and it's, it's really quite straightforward and simple. Thanks for watching.